Hi, everybody. Welcome to an impromptu Monkey Island Madness on Thursday morning. Um, this is taped live over at Ustream TV, and I am talking to a live audience. And I don't know, it's been maybe three weeks ago, Eileen told me um, that there was a box going to be delivered on Saturday, and um, no box showed up. And then weeks, I mean, literally, I think it's been like three weeks, hasn't it, Eileen? It's been a while. And the elusive box was just out in United States postal land somewhere. So today the post office came, or the mailman came down to the door and um, told me that the box had been damaged in handling. And there's a little thing here. Can you see that? Damaged in handling. Please accept our apologies. Rewrapped and repaired at MNDC, Memphis, Tennessee. So I think probably a machine mangled it. And what took so long was they probably have a lot of this. Um, and so it was probably just sitting in a pile there waiting for whoever rewraps all the mail to get to it would be my guess. But it wasn't Joggle's fault. So I will say that. It wasn't Joggle's fault at all. And this box has a big tear in it up here. It's got their original label on it and the address was perfectly fine. So... I think that's what happened. It was just sitting waiting for somebody to get to it. But it's here now, and I'm excited. I've had so many fun presents this week. Gosh, got to go to Hobby Lobby. Jennifer and Cindy sent me presents. So I'm going to go ahead and open the Joggles box right now. This should not take too long. And it looks like the glue came off this one end because I didn't have to do anything. Yeah. Yeah, see, this has all been torn. So, but I would bet money when we get inside here, nothing is going to be damaged. And if it is, we'll file a claim and go on. Life happens. So, bye-bye, box. Look at the pretty butterfly paper. I didn't get an M Elvis record from Memphis. They didn't insert any other presents. It doesn't look like Eileen. So here's the packing list. And it says, <clears throat> hope you enjoy. Love, Eileen. So thank you, Eileen. I know I give you piles of crap, but I would be utterly lost without you. I promise. And there's a bunch of stuff in here, so... The thing I'm pissed about, they ripped my butterfly tissue paper. Because <laughs> it is pretty. I will cut it out and use it, though. And I think, you guys, I haven't checked yet, but I think one of those books I bought at Hobby Lobby was a duplicate. So I may be having one to either sell or give away. I think that handwriting one, when I started reading it last night, it was like, I apparently don't pay attention to the covers, right? Because I started, um, oh, wow. I got the magical shaker. Now, this does have powder in it, but it's it's fine. It really is. Alrighty then. Okay, the rubber bands, the elastic bands, cool. I didn't, I they were out of stock of these when I did my Joggles order. So they repacked it in a second box. No, 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 no. It came in the original box. They just taped up the trashed out box is what it looks like to me. And this is the ruled insert. And this is handwriting lines. I will definitely be using this for... Um, practice. Got a grid book. Oh my gosh, she sent me a lot. Thank you, Eileen. And the dot insert. Oh, oh my gosh. And washi tape. The um, Dina Wakely washi tape. Oh my gosh. And I was running low on washi tape. <laughs> sh your shakers came with powder. That's from Lindy's. Okay. 
I got you the gold. I know. I'm I'm excited to use that. And I got my one of my replacements. So um oh make my voice strong and my spirit alive. Cool. These are pretty. Pretty pretty. Um but I did get my replacement, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put um all my magicals and shaker boxes in the cover, the girl cover. And I've seen this before because I went ahead and ordered it, but I love it. Love it a lot. Oh my god. And then she got me the oh Eileen, you're so sweet. I hate to say that out loud and on camera, but you really are. The Dilutions stamps. Oh, really? You know what that sounds like? <clears throat> not my problem. Thou <laughs> shalt not whine. I'll use that one a lot. Caution, mood swing, and progress. Well, that just that's just saying menopausal wench. <clears throat> um, I haven't seen you since that time. I hoped I'd never see you again. <laughs> I love these sarcastic quotes. I ate healthily and exercised today. I better freaking wake up skinny. <laughs> as long as everything is exactly the way I want it, I'm totally flexible. Now that is totally me. I am so happy as long as everything is going my way. I'm going to pull this down so you guys can see a little better. Be bold or italic, never regular. I'm sorry I don't remember ordering a glass of your opinion. I don't want to seem like I think I'm always right, but I am, and that's why it comes across that way. <laughs> they are. They are so perfect. Totally perfect. And I've seen these, you know, like at um, Michael's and stuff like that, that just never took the plunge. So thank you, Eileen. Don't hold back. This is the don't, don't hold back. Um... DYR44505 from RagerInc.com And you know what, you guys, and I've said this before, but I'll say it again. I really like the pink rubber um, stamps so much more than the acrylic stamps. I hate, um, I hate acrylic stamps. I really do. Does Diane Reevely have washi too? That's a good question. I don't know. I don't know. So, I just feel so happy. They must have made them just for us, or I can't. Cat, does Dan really watch her stream? I don't know if she does or not. I doubt it. Um, I think Shannon Green did at least once, and um, Miss Vicky B subscribed to me. So, and there are several sets of these. She's got some really fun ones. I mean, really fun ones. And you can find a lot of this. Like, when I want a sarcastic quote, um, I just go on the Internet and Google sarcastic quotes, and I'll sit there and laugh myself silly at how rude I could be if I wanted to be. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I get it, Kathy. Because of the quote, she thought <laughs> I needed these. Probably. I know, Paula. She is an utter, utter sweetheart. She doesn't want us to know it, but she is an absolute utter sweetheart. So, that's all my joggle stuff. And nothing is damaged, so, you know, no harm done. Um, Eileen and I just got a little antsy. Um... I'm going to check out the, the shaker container. I'm going to have this crap everywhere now. That's the one thing about Magicals, you guys. Oh, my gosh. When a little bit gets out, you are in big trouble. The other day, I washed down this whole table, not just my work area, but the whole table. I had green everywhere. I mean, the rag that I was cleaning with was just green, and it wasn't mold, I don't think. Well, I say that with certainty, but I'm, I can't guarantee. And this has Shimmer. <clears throat> and I should have remembered the name of this one. Grab a Guy Gold is what it is. Grab a Guy Gold. And I guess the, the denim is really cool too. Um, I don't think they want you to get the lid off these, so I'm just going to leave it alone. Um, let's see. 
Okay, there's the little holes. And is Jean streaming next? Um, cause oh, that I was gonna say that is you have to be really careful. Get that bad boy closed. Okay, so on one side you can shaker it out of holes, and the other side you could probably use a little scoop and get it out. There's um, I had to guess. Let me see if I hold it up. It's filled with product about halfway, you guys. So that's how much product you get. Damp paper towel, yeah, exactly, Bren. I'm so glad it finally got here too. But yeah, you make sure you get these bad boys closed. And when you close them, a little puff of powder comes out. So I'm going to be glitter gold all day. Yay me. Yeah, you can't control. You can't control it. You're supposed to lay side. Um, well, you guys figure out what you want to do unless Paula wants to stream. Paula, do you have to go to work today? I don't have anything planned to actually do, but that doesn't mean, I mean, that's pretty much the case every time I stream. <laughs> so it's no big deal to me. I'm going to put this back in its container. Or we'll have gold in our dinner tonight. I love these. I haven't seen you since that time. I hoped I'd never see you again. That's so funny. Jean, are you just not feeling it, girl? Let's look at this. Look at the individual rolls. I don't think I have seen this set of washi. Um, is this new? Now these are on bigger rolls, but on these, you don't get a huge amount of washi, do you? Just an observation, not a complaint, Eileen. Paula has to go to work and then come home and find her black beauty. Okay. Trying to make space to jelly print, but... Okay, nice try, Jean. J Paula's got to go to work. It is the new washi. Yeah, because I was going to see, I don't think I've seen this before. So individually, we'll just look at them. Get something to see them against without a icky background. That's pretty. White dots. And then the faces. I've seen a lot of her faces. This is fun, though. Does it say? You get six yards on each roll. So I don't know how much is usually on a roll. I like this one, though. Oh, make my voice strong. And hang on. No, it's, it'll be back here. I'll make my voice strong, and, well, I've got it. And my spirit alive. The beast is going to get a workout today. This is more like um, some of her other stuff I've seen. This is really pretty, though. I think I bought some of hers, actually. Okay, you're not feeling it. Oh, for sure, Bren. In fact, I made a ton of washi out of um, deli paper. Um, yeah, I, I made a ton of my own washi. I'll go get it if you want to see it. This is just writing. This is kind of cool. Now, this would be washi you could make yourself. Just create a background and then just use either your stamp or your own handwriting. And then hearts. This is all really pretty. Really, really pretty. And this looks like layer upon layer upon layer. Hmm. Pretty, pretty. I like it. I like it a lot. A good use for the Zyron. There you go. Um, 
I did not swatch the watercolor, the pastel watercolors. You want me to go get them and show you? I do love the colors in that, Paula. Oh my gosh, I love the colors in the pastel dreams. Let me go get it real quick. I'll put that there so you can look at it. Um, yeah, I'm loving those colors. You need that to wash to add to your 400 roll collection? Well, I should go get mine real quick, too. I'll show you some of the homemade. Um, some of it I really like. All right, that was a great idea, except that I'm missing a container of washi tape. What would I have done with it? Whatever. Anyway, I'll have to do that later. Whatever. Anyway, um, here's the Pastel Dreams Prima watercolors. And I have not done um, <clears throat> a comparison, Paula, to see how much duplicates I've actually gotten. Um, because these are the four primas that I've got. I bought the classics first, and I, I love this one. Um, I think I bought the tropicals next, um, and I'm pretty sure there's no duplicates. Now, with the Jane Davenport, I have the three Jav Jane Davenport that are out. Um, then I bought the decadent pies. I like this. This is all like real neutral colors. And then the pastel dreams. So I did, if you meant, have I swatched it like this? I have swatched it like this, but I haven't done the swatch on the top. I like the swatch on the top because I, I store them like this in a container that, on my couch when I'm arting. And so I can just flip through them to find out what color um, because my memory is not good enough to remember where each of them are. Did Jean ever say if she was wanting to stream or not? Oh, you're having a hard time, aren't you, Jean? Oh. Anyway, Jean, speak up. If you do or you don't want to stream, I'm not, I, I think you need to do what you want to do. So, anyway, yeah, I did, but aren't these pretty? They are so nice and pastel. So, and I did use these the other night in the in my stream. I could make myself a little swatch schedule or like that. 
let me get the I I just use um like that cheap 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 uber cheap um watercolor paper that you can buy at Joann's up near the um register you know you pay a dollar for this little pad of watercolor paper um that's what I use for the top of these it, and believe me it is not the greatest um watercolor paper on earth and Eileen's going to have a fit, but yeah, I do measure all these out. These are the Prima Pastels, yes, Karen, and I do love them. Okay, you're going to wait and see how you feel tomorrow. I think that's perfectly fine, Jean. You do what you want. Okay, my squares are 1 and 7 eighths by 2 inches. So I can cut that off. Alright, I can get my, eh, cut it yourself. Damn, it didn't take that long. So I mean, I'll have a, just a little bit here. And I've decided that I'm going to um, reorganize some of my stuff. <laughs> well, I'm going to have to reorganize some of my stuff to find new homes for my hobby, some of my Hobby Lobby stuff. Um, but I've been meaning to do some of it for a while. So, um, yeah, so the next couple days I'm going to spend, I think, reorganizing. Yep, yep, yep. Just a few things. And as I go through, I am going to get rid of some of these supplies that I don't use. I don't use oil pastels. Um, so why do I keep them? Why do I keep them? Um, there's somebody out there who could have them and enjoy them. And I think I've decided, too. I'm going to get rid of some of my stamps. Um, I've held on to my mother's stamps for ever. Um, all right, so that's one and a half. And um, <clears throat> I've just decided I'm going to get rid of some of them which is kind of a big step for me because um, yeah I just that was the thing my mom and I shared and so um, getting rid of her stuff as far as the stamps and her art stuff and um, <clears throat> Yeah, it was it was kind of a big step for me to make the decision that they've got to go. They've just got to go. All right, now those were bigger. They're half inch, but it's time. Time, time, time. And that wasn't even what I was measuring. All right, three eighths that way. Now I'm getting my own self confused. Um, I need to get my rolling ruler out, but it's out in the out in the garage. It's not out in the garage. Out in the front room. But yeah, I think it's just time, and I will be okay with it now. What I'll really love is the extra space. I mean, I, I house so much stuff that I don't use, and it's stupid. So, yeah. And I'm sure we're all kind of in the same boat there, you know. I'm sure we all have tons of stuff that it's just like... Why do I keep this? I'll use this one. I was looking for the zero one, but so 
So this isn't as much fun as jelly printing, that's for sure. But it needs to be done. This pen is a piece of crap. Oh, I use a microprim. It's a good pen. And I have a little box that I keep all my desk pens in right here next to me. It needs to be gone through and half of the crap in there thrown away too. They're either dried out or something I don't use or... I'm gonna move this camera out so I can move out a little bit. I got everything piled here. I need to clean this off. And here in the next few days, probably over the weekend, I'm I'm going to make another journal cover. Because I promised one, so I've got to get that done. And then I'm going to have to start cleaning this house. And um, I'm different that way, Eileen. I have to have it this way. Hi, Third Terry. You just got back from Hobby Lobby. Did you get tons of good stuff, Terry? It's so much fun when you come home with like. I don't know, I think I had five or six bags of stuff. It's like, oh, this is so much fun. All right. Yeah, and I'll have to trim it down a little bit, but that's okay. Um, where is... So the name of this one is Prima Pastel Dreams. Yikes, that went way over. Um, you didn't get tons, you limited yourself. Well, I probably should have, but I didn't, and I'm not going to be feeling bad about it now. All right, so here we go. I'm going to pull out a little bit so you can at least see the, all the pretty colors. And I know they say never take um, directly from the watercolor, you know, use a palette first. I cheat all the time. I do anything I want. But look at how pretty that is. Now this reminds me of one of the browns. I don't think it is the same though. Paula, did you ever make a list of what the duplicates were? I've been meaning to actually do that, um, but I haven't. And I don't want to get up too close to that next one because they'll run because they're still wet. So I'll be real careful. Go over there last. A part of me now, and this is how stupid I am, um, I told you they had that koi set at Hobby Lobby the other day. Now I'm pissed off at myself that I didn't buy it. But I really don't need it, honestly, with all these um, 
Prima and Jane Davenport watercolors, I really don't need anymore. I really don't. I do love them though. And the, I was going to justify buying those koi or telling myself, well, if they're still there, when you go back, get them. Because um, the Prima and the Jane Davenport, of course, are the same manufacturer. So I kind of know what to expect from these. I don't, I have not had other higher end watercolors to know how they're going to behave differently and if I'm going to like something better. You know, so I thought, well, you could just buy them to try them and see if you like the koi's. And I thought, that's just what you need is another collection of products. <clears throat> According to Paula, um, they are exact, the colors, some of the colors in the Prima and the Jane Davenport are the exact same. They are not the same name. Um... I want the job of naming products and I want Judy Foster to help me <laughs> we'd come up with some crazy names um, but yeah they're the exact same color and then after you look at them it's like well yeah they are but they don't have the same name and the first set of Primas the um, the classics they don't even have names they were just numbers but I think that bright, bright pink there, that's in Jane Davenport's called something totally different. Because you get all of these colors in one of the Jane Davenport, but they're, they're called something totally different. You also heard that the same colors go in different sets. See, that's what I was... Okay, here's what Paul is saying. Names are different. When I first mixed, all the Primas didn't have names. Yeah. Maybe someday I will figure out the names of the duplicates, but that'll take a while. Yeah, see, that's what I was thinking, Paula. Um, but the way I use them, honestly, it doesn't matter because when I'm sitting out on the couch binging on some silly TV show, playing with my stuff, I just think, okay, I want yellow. And then I just flip through the boxes until I find a pretty yellow that I want to play with. I mean, we're not talking that I need a specific yellow to create a sunset or to duplicate the color of a flower. I mean, honestly, we're not doing that. But if I'd have bought that watercolor book the other day, maybe I could head that way, right? <laughs> Listen to me. Justify, justify, justify. Now I have my little swatch on the top of my container and I can put it away. Because I couldn't put it away yet until I had this done. That's what a numbskull I am. And I didn't get all the yellow off my brush. Uh, that annoys me. So I didn't really have a plan for today. I was going to clean the house a little bit. Um and maybe try and finish up a couple of these projects. I've only got two. I've got the coloring book or the cu the crayon match book and finish my doodle for Rach's challenge. I haven't finished that yet. It's been laying here. You can tell I'm not thrilled about it or I would have worked on it already. You have the koi and I put them away after getting the Prima and Janes. Oh, Deb, I'm so glad you said that. Yay! Now I won't feel compelled to um, look for them again. I really don't have a complaint with these. I really don't. I think the color selection that I've gotten so far is really, really good. I would like an entire book like the one Paula has where she's tested out all her colors and, and I think she was working on brush control um, when she created the book. But I love that book of hers, and I thought, oh, I want one like that. And then I won't feel pressure to paint those flowers or do that landscape. I'll just do a book of pretty stripes and use my stuff. 
Of course, I haven't done any color mixing or anything like that to, you know, I think that's a whole nother learning curve. But why do you have to mix colors when you can just buy them already mixed? Right? And this one is called Icy Sky. And man, it is just one shade off of white. I promise you, one shade. But look at these pastels. They're so pretty. And I love this lilac in this one. Now, I know this is not a duplicate that I have not seen this color before. Oh, my gosh. It's so yummy. So I'll be using these a lot. I like the lighter color because then I can draw our color on top of them. There we go. They're pretty, huh? Do you saw the little colors? And I think I honestly, I think I paid 15 bucks for this. So it, to me, it's, you know, you're paying what? Just over a buck for a little half pan? That's not bad, you guys. I don't think. You mix the colors by taking the pots out and mixing them up and putting them back in empty tins. <laughs> I don't have any empty tins, and I don't want any empty tins. Um, I do need to see if I can double side tape that and get it to stick. Because I do use this for position of the colors. So let's see if I can get this to stick. I'll do it right in the middle. On a lot of my tins, I have a hard time getting these to stick in the tin, but I'll do my best. Once you take the pots out, you have the empty tins. I know, but I'm not going to move mine. I know I know Paula did, um, but I think one of the reasons that I even bought these stupid things is because I like the little tins, so why would I move them out of their little homes? Who was talking about homes the other day, and I was just like, I'm all... Oh, Colleen. Colleen was cracking me up talking about taking stuff out of their little homes. It was like, I get that. I, I can't take stuff out of its home. It's got to stay in its home. I'm going to trim this down just a hair. I know, after I went through all that measurement. It's all right. <clears throat> now, where's my packing tape? I actually think I need packing tape. Yeah, it's probably dry enough. I know, Colleen was funny about their houses. She was cracking me up. Colleen always cracks me up, though. And I don't. I think it's more her laugh. When she starts laughing about something, next thing I know, I'm laughing, and I'm not even sure what I'm laughing about. But I would love to live close to Colleen, because I think if you'd live close to her, you would spend a ton of time laughing. And that's how you make the little house swatch for it. I'm glad that little thing is done. Now you guys can see exactly how anal I am.
And I guess I didn't stream yesterday and tell you guys that Walmart did finally get the pick flush material in. Ugh, what a hassle that was, but it's in. But I'm glad I called first because um, before I, the rat went and got them for me. Um, well, for himself, they're not mine. Um, they still had the order as 600 flushes that I need needed 600 syringes. That would have lasted about two years. I used two a day, but if he was in treatment, it's only every other month that I have to do it. It's like, dang, he needs 600. Yeah, she would be a hoot to art with in person for sure. Are you sure I got it on there perfectly straight? Well, I'm not sure that I got it on there perfectly straight, but it's straight enough that it's not making me nervous. Does that count? <laughs> All right, that's done. Paula asked, and I did it. Um, now I have to decide what else I want to do. Do I want to... One of the things I could do is get out the white um, ink and work on this doodle for artful evidence because I'm not liking the I guess when I look it on camera it's not horrible but I want the white smaller I don't like that I don't like the white in the thick nib pen I've got to put my thing together <gasps> So what do you guys want to do? I'll do anything. I don't care. I know Eileen's going to say magicals. Um, I need to see what colors magical paper I have for the journal that I'm going to make next. So let me go look real quick. Maybe I will want to do magicals. Maybe I, I'll i need some for the journal I'm going to make. Let me go look real quick. I don't know, there's some pretty paper here, for sure. I think this one would make a really pretty journal cover. Do magicals and use the new gold? Okay. Um, this one was combination... Mm, no, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure... that this was the FW inks and the Magicals. I'm pretty sure. Um, but this paper I really like. And this would be great cut up for a journal cover. This one too. Um, I kind of think this one would be better as um, a woven journal. And they didn't say which they wanted. And this is that drippy one that we did. Oh my gosh, do I love this. I love this so much where we did the drippy and I'm sure this was you know what that's that's magical powder on there I think a lot of these were combination FW inks and magicals but look at this one isn't that cool looking after it dried and it you know kind of got itself set look at this like this is obviously magicals that we let run into this. These are so cool. This one, I think, um, 
I want to add to this. But these were kind of the colors that were requested. And then this one, I loved when it was wet, but I don't like it now that it's dry. But when this one was wet, I remember I because I remember that I was talking about that Oxbow Lake. That's what it looks like in Oxbow Lake. Um, yeah, I like this one when it was wet, but not when it's dry. So, I don't know. These two, I think, if I'm going to keep them at all, they've got to be reworked for sure. So, all right. If we're going to do magicals, I've got to um, move some of this mess. And I think I will go ahead and end this recording and start a new one. So, um, if you've watched this, thanks so much. And we'll catch you next time.